Not only did Street Fighter 4 live up to the Street Fighter name, but it stands as a worthy addition to its legacy. A PC version arrived a few months later in July with additional visual styles and it was even ported to the iPhone on March 10, 2010. The game saw its initial expansion in the form of downloadable costumes for all the characters as well as a downloadable championship mode that further expanded the online multiplayer offerings. Street Fighter 4 proved that it could even hold its own with the many other fighting games that were released that year and was even awarded numerous awards in its genre. Those who once feared it to be a disappointment immediately embraced it and Street Fighter 4 became the top game to play among the competitive fighting game community. After only a few months since its console release, it was the headliner at the top tournaments around the world, including the Evolution Championship Series. That year, many fans from all over the world competed to become the world's first Street Fighter 4 champion. And, as if by destiny, the finalists were Justin Wong and Daigo Umehara, the two players best known for their famous match on Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. They confronted each other once again in a match that was as thrilling as it was anticipated. Even Steven, the match has come right down to the wire, the whole tournament. Over a thousand competitors and all coming down to this final few blows. Oh, Barry just barely out of range. Zygo showing willingness to throw out some meter there. Just the right oh no, he missed it, but he's still connected with the connect. Justin Wong, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. That's 2-2, two -two. it's going to the final game. Final set of the final, final, final. It could not have gone any better than this. This yeah. is a picture moment. We are down to the wire, baby. It's Evolution 2009, Street Fighter 4 Grand Final. Oh, Justin Wong is on the high ball going. Dying of the beast on my heart on the right. And the championship partner is the player. Get Ike, baby. Are you freaking out? I'm freaking out. Justin Wong with a surprise with the ball on. He's serving very well against Ike on the heart, who doesn't seem to be ready for a safe defensive play. Justin looking very confident. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Justin I'm afraid even to speak in some situations. Both of them just feel each other out. Justin wins. I'm going crazy. I'm going to let you guys know right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, parts of the race to this entire room. Yeah. Really, it's a championship by the way. And uh, he's going to need to make something happen here, though, in this round. Uh, Dago seems content to sit on his lead. Oh, nice oh. throw attempt. Dago's reaction going to be Justin Wong with the surprise. He's the ball on. He's serving very well against Dago in the heart, who doesn't seem to be ready for a safe defensive play. Justin looking very confident. I don't know what's going to happen. Justin wins. I'm afraid even to speak in some situations. Both of them just beat each other out. Justin wins. I'm going crazy. I'm going to let you guys know right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, parts of the race to this entire room. Really, it's a championship I'm going to play. And uh, he's going to need to make something happen here, though, in this round. Uh, Dago seems content to sit on his lead. Oh, nice oh. throw attempt. Dago's reaction going crazy. Match point. Championship point, Dago. Championship of the world point. Evolution 2009. It all comes to this. Justin fighting for his life and doing very well so far. Justin oh, no. Justin's had a hard time baiting out anything from Dago. Dago's reaction is so good that he can't make the dragon punch when he wants him to. Oh, big range on that throw. Justin might have been throwing something out. Oh, no. Oh, Dago like guesses right again. Right, right in his face. Like the X. Those punches are going down. Dago threatening again with those spoken attacks. Commentator talking directly to the players now. Oh no! It's all going to come right down to this. Dago. Oh! Dago Omehara takes it. And Justin must admit that was an excellent match. And the crowd is on its feet. Dago! Evolution 2009. Dago Omehara, the Japanese legend, has returned to face his perennial American opponent, Justin Wong. That was just an incredible, incredible showing. Uh, my vocal cords are blown. My mind is blown. It could not have been a more perfect moment. And there he is. Dago with a big smile for the crowd. He's feeling it. An incredible weekend and incredible show comes to an end with Daigo Mayara leaving as the world champion of Street Fighter 4. And that is the title we hope he'll be back to defend next year. With Street Fighter 4 proving to be a successful project for Capcom, it seemed likely that they would rest on their laurels or move on to a new and different project. Instead, rumors began to spread as early as seven months after the game's release. In September 2009, Capcom announced Super Street Fighter 4, an expansion to the game with additional content based on feedback from fans. The game would be released as a standalone product and not just downloadable content for people who purchased Street Fighter 4. Numerous tweaks were planned to help rebalance all the characters in the roster. 
The most notable change to the gameplay system would be that now, players have the ability to choose between two different ultra combos before entering a match, similar to how the player could choose a super art in Street Fighter 3. While this was definitely an interesting addition since it would potentially change a player's strategy with the character, perhaps the biggest notable addition to the game were the 10 new characters. They would not only consist of familiar faces from older Street Fighter games, but also entirely new characters making their introduction to the series. Rounding out the entire roster from Super Turbo, there was T-Hawk and DJ. They were originally planned to be part of the original Street Fighter 4 roster, but were cut due to there not being enough development time to finalize them. From the Street Fighter Alpha series, there was Adon from the original Street Fighter, as well as Cody and Guy, who were originally from Final Fight. From the Street Fighter 3 series, there was Dudley, Ibuki, and Makoto. The first new original character announced was Juri, the series' first character from South Korea. Juri is a young female Taekwondo fighter who works for Seth's organization SIN, who has the ability to time warp thanks to an energy-boosting device inside her left eye. The second new and original character was Akan, a strange man who practices the art of Turkish oil wrestling. Other new additions planned for Super Street Fighter 4 included all new backgrounds, more alternate costumes, new online modes such as Team Battle, Endless Battle, and a replay channel, and bonus stages similar to the ones last seen in the Street Fighter 2 series. While any Street Fighter fan would know that Capcom has in the past updated their fighting games constantly with new content, Super Street Fighter 4 looks to be something that shouldn't have been unexpected. Still, with so much content planned for its release at a lower price than a normal retail game, Super Street Fighter 4 plans to bring all kinds of new material for fans to dive into. The game is set for a console release by the end of April 2010 and an arcade release a few months later. That felt good, didn't it? The real fight has only just begun. When the sun rises, the warning will begin the journey anew. Street Fighter will always be synonymous to what people think of when they think of fighting games. That's no doubt because of how it has been a video game series that's been with us for so many years. It started with humble beginnings like many early video games with small ambitions and few expectations. Then, when it made its return, it exploded among the arcade scene as an international phenomenon. Street Fighter was something that truly thrived in this era, even though it was filled with its highs and lows. But when that era started coming to an end, and Street Fighter became less successful, many people, including those at Capcom, believed that it was a result of being merely a product of its time. To this day, Street Fighter continues to remain one of Capcom's biggest and most successful franchises. Not only does it rank among the biggest and oldest franchises of all video games, but it's also one that is most driven by its fans. Even when Street Fighter was faced with its darkest times, its fans were always there keeping the spirit of the franchise alive, whether it be by playing the games among friends or creating communities with those who shared their passion. The spirit of the franchise was not only strongly embraced by fans, but by those who were once involved in its development. They too understood Street Fighter's undying legacy among fans and didn't want to see it end. With the creation of Street Fighter 4, a collaboration of many developers who worked on the series as well as those who play and adore the series, the Street Fighter series and its community have become just as strong as it was back during its golden years once again, if not even stronger. The idea of Capcom departing from Street Fighter entirely will most likely never be a concern that anyone would have to worry about. The series will probably continue on for many more years, whether it is through more updates to the classics, brand new chapters and installments, or even in another spin-off. As long as there are people with a passion for the fight and a longing for another match, the battle that is Street Fighter will continue to live on. 